Hello, this is Michael with Manhattan Rare Books, and what we have for you today is Yoko Ono's Grapefruit from 1964. It's one of the great conceptual art books. Let's take a look. Grapefruit contains over 150 pieces and poems divided into five sections. You'll see here music, painting, event, poetry, and object. And the idea is that these are prompts that you read and you create the meaning while you read. Imagine 1,000 suns in the sky at the same time. Let them shine for one hour and let them gradually melt into the sky. Make one tuna fish sandwich and eat. That's, that's kind of amusing. But they're all, they're actually pretty brilliant. They, they're, they take your mind to strange places as you look through. Anywhere you turn, count the wrinkles. Your hammer a nail in the center of a piece of glass. Imagine sending the cracked portions to addresses chosen arbitrarily. Memo the addresses and change the shapes of the cracked portions sent. Some of them are super short. Sleep two walls away from each other. Whisper to each other. There's some Japanese in the book as well. Interestingly, a lot of the, the pieces begin with imagine this, imagine that. And you know, if you know the Yoko Ono story, that should set off alarm bells to uh, make you think of John Lennon's Imagine. And it's interesting because John Lennon admitted the connection in a BBC interview two days before he died. Actually, it's a great interview worth checking out on YouTube. It's called the, the, last, the Final Interview. And to quote John in the interview, he said that Imagine, the song Imagine, should be credited as a Yo Lennon Ono song because a lot of it, the lyric and the concept, came from Yoko. But those days I was a bit more selfish, a bit more macho, and I sort of omitted to mention her contribution. But it was right out of Grapefruit, her book. There's a whole pile of pieces about Imagine this, imagine that. I've got to give her credit now, long overdue. For such an important and influential book, if you notice, it's really kind of humble looking. And there's a reason for that. You see, at the time, Ono couldn't afford anything more grand. It's a self-published book. It's one of only 500 copies that were made. And the story is that when Ono got her copies from the printer, she carried them around Tokyo in a crate trying to sell them on the streets. And she didn't find many takers and ended up giving most of them away. She said also she couldn't afford any color, so she just left it like this. And consequently, it's also a very fragile book. This, is, this copy has been untouched for about 50 years. The person I got it from had it in a drawer for all that time, barely ever took it out. Usually pages are flying out and it's a mess. This is the nicest one we've had. Oh, and about that title, Grapefruit, seems a little bit odd. Grapefruit, a grapefruit, is a hybrid between a sweet orange and the Southeast Asian pomelo. And Yoko Ono felt that she was a hybrid of sorts. She was Japanese, American. She had a Buddhist parent and a Christian one. She was aristocratic on her mother's side, lower class on her father's. So she thought that grapefruit and the idea of a grapefruit was a good representation for her. Thank you. Please reach out with any questions. Take care.